Hello and welcome to another edition of Varsity Sports here on Educational Channel 15. Madison Park versus our Somerville Highlanders Varsity Boys Soccer. Match number two of the season. For those of you who watched the other day, a nice four to one victory. What? Excuse me, one and zero on the season. Their record. That. That four to one victory, just trying to get the rust out. New season, September is here, the fall. And these varsity boys right on the attack here versus Madison Park. Obviously Madison Park wearing the black trunks with the burgundy jerseys. And our Highlander boys in all white uniforms, controlling things, receive the ball, pass the ball, two touches. Nice job here. And this is what they have to work on, the control of the match. Mr. Bill Trudell on camera. He's also the producer of this telecast. My name is Tim Cronin. Welcome. I'm surrounded by a few of the junior varsity soccer team, some of the freshman players, as they have been given the afternoon off to watch this varsity match as they will most assuredly be out there. Most of them probably as soon as next season. And on the attack of the Highlanders here in full control from the whistle and the shot, oh my goodness, an easy goal put over the net. Wow. And that looked like Edwin there on the left side. And how did he not score? Wow. Edwin Mejia Sanchez on that left wing. He scored the other day. On the right wing, number one sophomore, Josh Machado. This Madison Park team has had excellent teams who have advanced deep in the state tournament in past years. I'm not sure that they're strong this year. This is also their second match of the fall. Here's Edwin again, the pass. And the Highlanders doing all they can to attack the goal. They just can't seem to get a shot on. But they win the corner kick here. We're just a little over two minutes into this match, all Somerville now. Edwin again almost scoring. And here's number 10, Sergio Paulo Pereira. He puts that ball in front of the net, and the Highlanders again still in control. Madison Park now. They're just trying to clear their own end. And the Highlanders looking to reset their attack here. Madison Park now able to break midfield. And now back to work of the Highlanders now. Edwin on that sideline. Very hot, humid, sunny day here at Dillboy Stadium. Again, match number two of the season. And the Highlanders, these Opening minutes, controlling things for the most part. Madison Park now looking to attack on their right side. The cross coming. Nice pick up there by Luke in goal. Luke starting the match again as he did the other day. And a little bit later on, he was replaced by Jackson. We'll see if the coaches go with that again. Maybe starting with Luke and then moving on with Jackson later in net. Luke Spearing and Jackson Anderson. Coach George just trying to position his players. Some of you might hear his voice in the background bellowing out instructions. And again, the Highlanders looking to create an attack here. Try to find Josh on that right side. 
tough to see some of the numbers here in this sun. It is just a barn burner weather-wise. It is real hot out here. It, extremely hot on that synthetic turf when the sun hits that boy. Uh, I'm, I think the temperature can rise another maybe 10 to 15 degrees. And already we're looking at 90 plus temps with the humidity. And again, the Highlanders controlling things in the Madison Park side of the pitch. Again, as I mentioned earlier, their first match the other day, a 4-1 to victory over Peabody. The competition, of course, on the schedule will, will become a lot more difficult for them. Just the Greater Boston League itself presents a real challenge. Malden, Everett, Medford, these last few years have been extremely or have had extremely strong teams, not only just here in the Greater Boston League, but in the state tournament. Number 15, Jadson D'Souza on the right wing. We play on now. Again from midfield, that's Sergio Paolo. He was trying to feed his wingman Jadson there. Madison Park doing all they can. This is Jadson now at the cross. Edwin is there. He will cross to Sergio Paolo. Odovin, I think we have a handball there, so Madison Park will take possession. Ball cleared through. Madison Park happy to have cleared midfield. That's Matthew Abrantes, that sweeper spot in the middle. He controls things in front of the goalkeeper. And things are getting physical out there for Fernando. Number 14, Fernando. And now we should see, waiting for the substitution or the officials. And it looks like possession will be the Highlanders. Captain Spencer Pitkin will make that running start from the track and he will launch this in the box. Sergio Paulo, ball coming through. Nice pass, the shot blocked. And again, the Highlanders, Spencer now playing the ball back to Milton. Milton Castro, nice ball movement here. Number seven is Luis Mendez. Nice job by Jadson there on the right wing. Moving the ball around. This is Marvin now on that left defensive side. Edwin, the cross will come. Madison Park doing everything they can here to protect their goal. The Highlanders, continuous onslaught is quite evident. Nice move there, and a shot. Punched out by the Madison Park goalkeeper. We'll have a Highlander corner again. We'll see uh, who's marching over there to the corner kick area. And this is again Number 10, Sergio Paolo. Ball incoming, header blocked. Nice work out there on the header there. It looked like young freshman there. 
Alexis Figueroa on the header. The Highlanders again, inbounds is Marvin. Nice job, and the goal, did it count? And I don't think it did. Uh, interrupting the goalkeeper in his area, so. Madison Park will take over. Spencer. Alexis Figueroa. Alexis again. Let's see if the Highlanders can get back to that possession style. Moving the ball around. Madison Park now for the third time in the match able to break midfield. We're 11 minutes in here. This match is virtually controlled by the Highlanders. And Madison Park, they're just gonna have to try to figure out what they can do here to try to contend with this this team dressed in the all white uniforms representing our Somerville High School. They move the ball around so well. Spencer now tried to launch. As Paolo Andrade, number 13, seeing some right wing action. He's a junior. Third year on this varsity team. Yes, he's been on this team since he was a freshman. Nice job by Paulo there. Trying to work with Fernando. Alexis Figueroa. That's Edwin on the left side. And now Madison Park on side. Trying to create something here. Nice move. The ball is crossed and just over the right corner. And that was almost a goal. That was a beautiful play by that young man from Madison Park. Uh, wow. I'm very impressed. A nice shot. A lot of touch on it. And that just missed the corner of the net. It would have been a beautiful, beautiful goal. ESPN highlight reel. Number 11 is Anthony. Played a great game against Peabody the other day. Seeing some left wing action. Odovan, series Odovan, working with Spencer there, and Spencer wanted to lead his, lead his man. George calls a timeout. He's not happy with that at all. There is an expectation, rightfully so, which comes from the coaches to be precise. Receiving the ball, passing the ball, when to make the pass, positioning. We can hear Coach George in the background here instructing his players. A long conversation George is having here. Just letting the boys know what they need to be doing. Make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, when you have multiple errant passes, that's just not acceptable, not in this program, and rightfully so. <laughs> a 
And it looks like we're ready to play on here. Madison Park uh, looking to break their huddle. Sounded to me like Coach George got his point across and we'll see how the boys perform now. It is awfully hot on that pitch down there. I would say it's probably with that sun, with the humidity, just bombarding that synthetic turf at well over 100 degrees down there, I'd say. 90 plus up here. And you're gonna see a lot of tired bodies this afternoon. A little over 26 minutes to go here in the first half. And we play on. And the official just making sure everyone's ready where they're supposed to be. You can see Anthony out there. He crosses and he's tripped up there. And it looks like a an opportunity for the Highlanders now. Anthony tripped up. So we'll see what happens here. Looks like Matthew Abrantes Sousa will come to the ball. And if you watch number two here, Matthew, he's going to put this ball in the box. Incoming header, Spencer scores. And that's how it's done. Matthew puts the ball in the air. And of course, just like I talked about last season, Spencer on the offensive set piece is the go-to. His job is to get in the air and put his head on the ball. He is so skilled at that. And just another goal for Spencer via the set piece and the header. He had so many of those as a junior and why not have some more in his senior season? 1-0 Highlanders. A beautiful, or I should say a beautifully placed set piece coming from Matthew Abrantes Sousa. Nice job, Matthew. Beautiful touch on the ball. Now another Highlander corner kick. Ball in the air. Madison Park doing a nice job there defending. 1-0 Highlanders. Just under 25 minutes to go here in the first half. And it is, again, 1-0 Highlanders. Madison Park just trying to f figure this out. And the Highlanders awfully skilled here. In control. The attack begins again. Odovin trying to get on the ball. Trying to find Josh Machado. As you can see, coaches Tiago and George substituting players like crazy. Everyone plays, especially early on here in September. He's searching. Coach Tiago searching for the correct, the correct, excuse me, combinations for late in October and into the November state tournament. Everyone on the bench will see playing time. Constantly substituting in and out are the Highlanders. The only areas that stay pretty solid are Spencer and Matthew defensively. Looks like Milton Castro is at least going to be a mainstay for a while on the defensive side. But the midfielders and the wings up front, the attackers, constant substitutions in and out. And Luke charging out a goal for the pickup. 
Looked like he was a little bit late there. You really have to get out there sooner on the ball. But job is done. Nice pick up, Luke. Alexis. He's trying to lead his attackers down that right side. Where is Gustavo Mancia? Has anyone seen him? And again, the Highlanders on the attack here. Odovin causing some problems inside. George will have a word with him. Spencer. Who's there but looks like number six, Edwin. Madison Park now looking to begin their attack. And again, nice job. Luis Mendes there stealing the ball. Sergio Paulo looking to lead Josh Machado there. Oh, and what a move there. Who is that, Edwin? Wow. Almost another goal. That's almost two goals for Edwin this afternoon. It is one hot day out there. The umbrellas are out. Looks like the Lady Highlander varsity girls soccer team is here in attendance watching the boys. Here's Milton now. Milton will launch. Receiving that is Anthony. Josh, Anthony. And I wish Anthony made the cross there. It looked like Fernando was there waiting for a cross. And a shot ricocheted off the post. Wow. Again, the onslaught. The constant attack. The boys need to know when to shoot at the right time. Nice cross from Sergio. Paolo, loose ball. How did no one get a foot on that? Again, the Highlanders. Josh taking his time, moving the ball back. Ooh, not a well played ball there. So now Spencer will inbounds the ball again. We're at 19 minutes to go until halftime. And you can see the substitutions. A uh, whole shift change here. Got about eight or nine players coming in. F finding those correct conversations in that group that, that Coach George just pulled off. George wants to have a conversation with them. They had full control of the action and I'm I'm thinking George is trying to work with them on their decision making as far as who they're passing to, when and where. He 
a group has to have that chemistry, that sort of a buzzword in the sports world when we speak about teams. And they have to know ahead of time where their teammates are going to be, when and where to find them. Another shot on goal. Nice save by Madison Park. Again, the Highlanders completely dominating this match. And they still have a lot of rust. They still have, have to get the cobwebs out. You can see number th 39 in the match. And I believe I'm not sure who he is. He's not on our roster. Hey guys, who's number 39? Who is it? Number 39, Jack Sheehy. We have him as number 45 on the roster. Spencer now finding Rodson. Jadson, excuse me, finding Jadson. Nice job, Jadson. Good defensive work by Madison Park. Spencer now. Nice hustle by Jadson there. Fighting for possession. Get that ball back. And again, the Highlanders. George calling a play here. A little give and go here from the sideline. Is that what we're going to see? Yes. And off of something like that, they want to get across. But Madison Park, to their credit, doing a nice job defending that play. Madison Park unable to produce any offense, though, this afternoon. They are very definitely where the Highlanders have been in these last two years. They're in a, re a rebuilding stage. They want to get back to where they were, and that, again, is advancing deep in the state tournament on a yearly basis. That's what the Highlanders' aim is, and I believe that the Highlanders have the firepower to do it. They have the talent to do it. They still have a lot of work to do, though. I mean, if they really want to be successful come November, they have to start being more precise in their passing, You have to be more confident in what they're trying to accomplish. And again, Madison Park trying to shut them, sh shut down the Highlanders. Jack able to help fight for that ball back, and there's a. An errant pass there to the right side. Those are the little things that have to be worked on. Number four is Ariel Sanchez. Let's see who else is out here. Very tough to read these numbers from up here. Number 22 is Mario Pena. Welcome to the match, Mario. Number eight is James Hernandez. And again, uh, another substitution. The constant movement of personnel. Searching for those combinations for late October, early November. And remember, every regular season match means so much because you are seated and placed in the tournament bracket depending upon your regular season record so these matches are oh so important if you have almost a clean slate for instance there are 18 matches in the regular season and if you have a record of 16 and 2 hypothetically then obviously in the bracket it makes your life a lot easier you'll be Obviously placed in the higher seed seating as opposed to being 
11 and 7 qualifying for the tournament with a record like that you're really going to be dealing with some very difficult opponents even early on in either the first round or the preliminary round so the regular season dictates a team's placement you know obviously the best teams in the state every year they earn their high seeds in the bracket And the Highlanders uh, on just an oppressively hot day here in September on that synthetic turf. Oh, what a pass, what a feed, what a save. Madison Park goalkeeper. And that was, that was a quality shot on goal. And wow, credit the Madison Park keeper there as that was almost a goal for Josh Machado. Beautiful feed. Highlanders again controlling things. I think that was Luis Mendez who kind of slipped there. Or actually Sergio Paulo who kind of slipped there as he was trying to create. Highlanders again trying to attack. Madison Park clears. Just under 11 minutes to go until halftime. And now the possession here for the Highlanders at midfield. Set piece coming in from Milton. Nice header cross coming from Edwin. Odevin now working with Josh. Josh crossing and a little too much on that. 1-0 Highlanders, 10 minutes left here in the first half. Madison Park extremely fortunate that they're only down a goal here. More substitutions. Jadson back on the wing. Terrific young man. Waiting for... Oh my goodness, and a huge miscue there. You don't give the ball to the other team in front of your own goal. And Madison Park might be feeling the heat both literally and figuratively. Oh, nice ball there. Here comes the cross. No shot. There's the shot. What a save. Wow. I wish we had a roster for them, but that goalkeeper from Madison Park has saved two goals. Two definite goals. Beautiful saves. How impressive. Ball played through. Jadson there trying to create. And that shot way over the goal. And Odevin would have liked to have seen you score there. We play on, still 1-0. Madison Park just unable to get anything going. This is Odovin again. 
And he'll find that right wing, Jadson with the cross. Nice job defensively by Madison Park. Again, that, that touch on the ball via the header. Madison Park player looks like he's okay. He'll take a break. 7.47 to go here. And the officials getting things ready here. And it looks like the possession will be a Highlander possession. Nope. Madison, uh, excuse me, Madison Park will get things going again. Luis Mendez. Sergio Paulo. Oh, nice ball. Edwin. Luis. Edwin again. He'll shoot. And he scores. Oh, my goodness. What a blast. What a shot. 2-0. Wow. The crowd likes that. What a blast. We need instant replay on that. I was not expecting that at all, Bill. Boy. Two zero Highlander lead. And what can Madison Park do here to slow down the Highlanders? Who look like they're on their way to a two and zero record, even though it's not even halftime yet. The Highlanders are trying to get to that point where they can control a whole match but they have to learn to do it mistake free ricochet there and the offside I believe is called the clock continues to tick here the second half uh, excuse me the first half a little to no breeze on this extremely Hot, humid, oppressive day weather-wise. Oh my goodness. Wow, and that was close. And yeah, you have to be happy if you're rooting for Madison Park about the decision to shoot that ball as Luke was almost caught there. Could have easily been two to one. Nice feed here. Josh Machado, he'll make that cross. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, do you shoot or do you pass there? Unbelievable. There's the shot and that'll trickle wide. My goodness. I can very definitely see what Josh was trying to do there. He he had his teammates in front of the goal. It was just the pass was just a little bit ahead of them. And I'm not sure that Josh's placement of the ball was incorrect because it wasn't. He made a beautiful pass. We just wish his teammates were just up a little further to put that ball in the net. Some would easily say, why didn't he just shoot? But he did have his teammates out front. It was a nice cross. <laughs> so skilled is number one, Josh Machado on that right wing. He is very definitely a huge weapon for the Highlanders. He would be one of those members of this team in November who would be a regular player out there who would be running most of the match. Only a sophomore, number one, Josh Machado, right winger.
You can see number 13 out there doing a nice job creating. What a pass. And the shot. And they score. Wow. My goodness. Beautiful work there. Number 13 is Paolo Andrade. And that was some nifty ball handling as well as some beautiful passing. Nice touch at the bottom of his foot making the pass. A flicker in the other direction. Score, 3-0 Highlanders. Terrific work there. This is Sergio Paolo winning that ball. The attack is on again. Nice touch there. This is Josh. He will attempt to cross, but he's tripped up. And Josh tripped up there, and it looks like the Highlanders now will have a PK, if I'm not mistaken. And yep, that's exactly what is happening there. Number 10, looks like Sergio Paolo will take this shot. Madison Park keeper, bouncing in his goal, trying to make himself larger in the net. Sergio Paolo now for a score of 4-0. Can he put this in the net? And he does. 4-0 Highlanders, nice touch. He faked left with his body and went to the right. Easy goal for Sergio Paolo. 4-0 Highlanders. Again, some nice work. The Highlanders in cruise control here. Marvin now feeding the ball to the middle. Odevin, Sergio Paolo, he'll go left side. Oh, nice hustle on the ball there. Sergio Paolo now, Josh, offside. Nice breeze picking up and that's exactly what we need in this heat out here. Madison Park clearing. Sergio Paolo has been spectacular this afternoon for the Highlanders, playing a very strong match. Highlanders looking a little bit better today than they did the other day. Madison Park now trying to create. I think we have a corner kick from Madison Park. Now their first offensive set piece. And the cross is made. That's sailing through. Ball's cleared through, Odevin now. Marvin will step up, Odevin there. Matthew clearing through. And halftime is upon us. The score of the Highlanders four and Madison Park zero, all Highlanders this afternoon. And the second half underway, again 4-0 Highlanders. More substitutions, a whole new unit out there. Number 22 again, Mario Pena seeing action. Jefferson, number 30 on the left side. Welcome to the match, Jefferson. 
can see Fernando back in there. And we have number 23 playing left back, Gustavo Mancia. Gustavo, my man, where have you been? Welcome back to the match. Welcome to the team. Freshman. Alexis Figueroa, nice work there, retrieving the ball. Nice move there. Was that Odovan? On the right side. It's very tough to see with the glare here. The Highlanders just continuing where they left off here in the first half, controlling the action. And Gustavo again. Left backer usually plays the attack position. Ball's played back to him. Number 26 for the Highlanders is listed as Eric Silva. That's Eric, is it really? So I was correct, that is Eric Da Silva. And off the side there, the Highlanders continue their attack and Gustavo now will perform the corner kick and he will drop this right into the box. Coming, beautiful, beautiful placed corner kick, Gustavo. The header almost scoring. Nice save by the Madison Park goalkeeper. Got his hand on the ball, but that was beautiful. Picture perfect. His golden left foot. On the attack again of the Highlanders. Guys, who just had the ball there in the right corner? Who is it? Yeah. Ladondi on the right wing. Welcome to the match, Ladondi. Very nice. Again, the Highlanders just swarming Madison Park, who finally are able to clear. They want to begin an attack here. Ball fed through. Jackson in goal now for Luke. Charging the ball from the goal. Gustavo now scans the field, goes to Jefferson, now to Alexis, Ariel Pena, ball fit to the right side, LaDondi, little header there, little bump and grind there from Mario Pena, and again the Highlanders attacking. And again, from the left side here, Jefferson doing battle. Did he win the corner kick? And it looks like it's actually going to be a Madison Park goal kick. Devastating news here in the press box. No air conditioning.
I'll have to have one of those installed. Extremely warm afternoon here at Dillboy Stadium. Again, probably over 100 degrees with the sun beating on the pitch. You can see the shade moving in from beyond the two players' benches. So as the second half wears on, the shade will move through the pitch to the player's delight. There's Jack Sheehy, midfield. About 33 and a half minutes to go in this match. Madison Park will have possession. Again, the swarming Highlander team, LaDondi trying to win the ball. Great little athlete, LaDondi Francois. He's also a basketball player. <laughs> Madison Park able to clear their end. Gustavo is there. Alexis, left side. Jefferson, and he was trying to find James Hernandez there. Nice work here. A lot of the players on the pitch here who are not freshmen were on the junior varsity a year ago. You have James Hernandez, Jefferson, Eric Da Silva. Ball played in. There's Jack Sheehy there. Mario Pena. And we play on a little over 31 minutes to go in this match. 4-0 Highlanders and the coaches again have some players in this match looking for more varsity experience. All preparation for the future. They know they have the game in hand. And Jackson now will send the ball forward. Let's see, he's looking left to Gustavo. He gives it to him. Gustavo now. Left side, Jefferson. Jefferson tried to get it to Alexis. Madison Park thwarting that attempt, but Alexis able to retrieve. Nice job, Alexis. Eric De Silva clears. Can see number 19 there trying to skate through. And that is Eric Da Silva, excuse me. That is Eric Da Silva, number 19. Nice hustle there by Eric. Nice feed James, almost hooking up with LaDondi there. Madison Park clears. We're under a half an hour to go in this match. 
Gustavo doing a nice job there, clearing the ball. Jefferson doing a nice job there. Causing trouble for the opponent. And again, all Highlanders. Jefferson now. This is James. Stay on side, guys. Nice job by the keeper. I think there was an offside anyway there. So, guys, the sweeper here, standing at the 34-yard line. Yeah, 26. Oh, I thought Eric is 19. Then, oh, that's Frankie. So we have just to be able to get the personnel correct here. We have Eric De Silva defensively, and up front is Frank Leone, number 19. So there's some clarification for you. Trying to get these names correct. Not all of the names of the players in the match who are, now, who are now coming off the pitch were on this roster. So it's really nice to have some of the junior varsity players help me out with the personnel. And again, the Highlanders causing all kinds of trouble for Madison Park. As some of the regular players just entered the match and they absolutely attacked them immediately. Nice job by Marvin there defensively. Sergio Paolo. The attack starts from him. Spencer. And on the right side there. Was that Luis Mendez? No, that was Sergio Paulo again with the touch a moment ago. Madison Park puts the ball in play. We play on. Nice job by Spencer there. Edwin, Sergio Paolo on the attack here. Beautiful play and the goal. What a finish. And I believe that is Paolo Andrade who received that lead pass streaking down the right side. 5-0 Highlanders. What a goal there. Number 13. Paolo Andrade on the goal. Marvin now leaving the ball for Edwin. Edwin, little give and go with Sergio Paolo. Another nice attack on the give and go. And the goal by Edwin. 6-0 and some beautiful passing. And another huge substitution coming from the coaches. That's how the game is played. So we'll have a full change there. Nice job, fellas.
Beautiful finish. The Highlanders here with 25 and a half minutes to go in this match. Everyone's playing. Everyone on the bench today. And again, the Highlanders go right on the attack. Can see Gustavo Mancia back in the match. Playing some more defend. More, more defense, I should say. Jefferson now. Cross coming. Easy pickup for the Madison Park keeper. Nice workout this afternoon for the Highlanders. This is Jack. Nice lead ball. Jefferson now, where's the cross? And he'll just put it in the net. Je Jefferson, he had his teammates flowing in the here, right in there, but he, he saw the top corner and he just knows how to put it there. And nice goal, Jefferson. And we will have a timeout called. Again, very hot, humid, oppressive afternoon. Just to get the rest for a moment here is important. Break from the heat. We play on. Madison Park now. Unfortunately for them, they are just playing a much superior team in our Highlanders. That does not negate from their effort this afternoon. They're doing everything they can to try to run with this group. And you can see the Highlanders working on Rotating the ball, moving it around. Again, two touches, receive the ball, pass the ball. Receive the ball, pass the ball. Just working on possession. There's Alexis, Gustavo, Jefferson. Moving the ball. Everyone gets a touch. Gustavo now, he'll play the ball back. Eric Da Silva. Go all the way back to the right defender who I believe is Milton, now working with the goalkeeper, Jackson. A little sloppy back there. Madison Park will have a shot. Jackson will make the save. So they're, you know, working right now on fine-tuning themselves, rotating the ball. But if you make one mistake, the other team can take advantage of that. So you have to be precise. Every pass needs to be on target. Every touch of the ball. And this is what it takes to be a great team. A team that can move the ball around, rotate, a two-touch system. Madison Park now trying some offense for themselves. But in match number two of the season, not bad. They will perfect this in the next couple of months before the state tournament. Working on rotating the ball. The goal, obviously, is to control a match, control a team, be in charge. Time of possession on the ball. And... 
drilling the players like this even during a match is uh, very beneficial. You strive for perfection to be, again, just controlling everything that happens on the pitch. Moving that ball around. Jefferson will battle for that. Gustavo with the touch. Gustavo will play the ball backward to Eric. Eric will cross that ball to the right defender, who again, I believe, if I can see correctly from here, is Milton. Gustavo. Alexis. And it's up to Madison Park to try to break this. Looks like uh, number 16 is that for, uh, excuse me, Alexis again. Gustavo. Madison Park trying to, again, as they were successful there, to thwart the passing and the rotating of the Highlanders, r rotating of the ball, that is, breaking up their passing sequences. And moving the ball around. James Hernandez, number eight. Madison Park playing the ball in. Jackson is there. You have to catch that ball, son. Ball needs to be caught. Any drop ball in front of your own goal can be disastrous for a team, especially in tournament play, a knockout match. Jack doing battle, Jack Sheehy. Under 20 minutes to go. Another substitution for the Highlanders. Now Jackson will set the ball, will play on. And you can see the Highlanders no longer trying to score. Again, it's all about drilling the players getting this down the Highlanders 2-0 and after today's match two wins and zero lo losses match number three will be this coming Tuesday right here at Dillboy Stadium versus Burke High School Burke another Boston High School Burke has had some fantastic teams in the past also, and they have had some wars with the Highlanders on the pitch. We'll see what kind of a team they have this coming Tuesday. Obviously, again, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Madison Park going through a rebuild, and again, the Highlanders know what that's like as the Highlanders were rebuilding through 2014 and 2015 to get to this point where there are high hopes for an extremely successful season. And what is that defined as? That is competing for a greater Boston League championship and m more importantly, in my opinion, advancing deep in the MIAA state tournament in November. Okay. 
Madison Park, a scary moment for them again, able to defend. Gustavo moving that ball back to Ariel. Ariel finding James Hernandez there. And again, the Highlanders doing battle here. Madison Park now trying to attack. They'd love to score before they have to hop on the bus. Another 15 minutes plus here of action. We have an offside. And we play on. Again, the Highlanders working on moving the ball around. You can see Madison Park kind of clogging the middle right now, They're trying to slow them down. They've moved the, some players up. Jefferson now, he'll bounce that ball in. And I believe we have an offside on Frankie there. Incoming. Jackson should be there. That bright, bright sun coming through again here, making things difficult on the Educational Channel 15 camera crew. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you Varsity Sports. There's the cross. Jackson was doing work on the corner. Gustavo made that cross. There's Thirteen forty-five to go in the match. Not that we're really keeping score. The Highlanders have scored seven goals, just working on their game. You, you don't want to get too excited about the score. We have, again, Madison Park in a rebuilding year. The Highlanders still have a lot of work to do. They really need to hone their game. Again, looking and searching for the combinations of players who can work well together, who can be productive against much tougher competition. It's never, it's, excuse me, not gonna get easier. This is just the beginning of the season. Jonathan Tobias Munji, number 18, in the match. Welcome, Jonathan. Ball played through. James Hernandez doing some nice work there. Did he win the corner? It looks like a Madison Park goal kick. I think the officials are trying to... Nope, we, we do have a corner kick for the Highlanders. Okay. Nice job, James. Twelve minutes to go in this match. The cross coming. And, oh my goodness, looking for the goal there. I believe that was Milton... Skating in, there's a cross again. Madison Park trying to clear the Highlanders, the shoot, excuse me, the shot and the score. And that was Alexis Figueroa putting that, that ball in the net 
freshman Alexis Figueroa. So the score is 8 0. Down to 11 and a half minutes to go. Eric De Silva now settling things down. Again, rotating the ball. There's Jack. Pass a little bit off there. I think he was. Oh, what a what a get through. James, he'll shoot. What a save. Oh, my goodness, what a save. And what a game, James. What a match James Hernandez has played, I should say. James Hernandez has really come on strong in the second half, attacking. That was just a beautiful save by the keeper from Madison Park. And we will have a corner kick for the Highlanders. There's Gustavo. Gustavo now, again, playing a little catch. Moving the ball around. Eric De Silva, he'll cross. Just moving the ball around. Receive the ball, pass the ball, two touches. Jonathan now. Scan the field, playing through to number 22 on the roster, who's had himself a fine second half also, Mario Pena. Again, that bright sun here, oh, so tough. Nine twenty to go. Jack now he'll play it to the right side. Is that Ladondi? Ladondi now on the attack, and this is Frankie with him. Ladondi he'll shoot. Oh my goodness! Just over the crossbar. LaDondi wanted to score badly. Frankie wanted to score badly. My goodness. <laughs> nice attack there by the Highlanders. Again, the Highlanders here trying to go right back to work. Jonathan. There's Jack. And again, every player on this team getting touches on the ball. Number four, Ariel Sanchez involved. Gustavo, Educational Channel 15, very much involved in this match. Try to bring you full coverage of as many matches as we can and including the MIAA State Tournament. Everyone in the stadium right now watching this team. One of... One of the most popular teams at Somerville High School is this varsity boys soccer team. They, they accumulate a lot of fans. I mean, obviously, it's very difficult to, f to uh, if you will, compare to football, varsity football on a Friday night. But 
For an afternoon athletic event, this Highlander team gets more fans than anyone I've seen, any team I've seen. For an athletic event right after school in the afternoon. Extremely popular, a lot of fans come. Uh, so much of the student body from Somerville High School in attendance, as well as many faculty members, many of their teachers, take a vested interest in these young men. The Highlanders now again dressed in all white in full command. This is Ariel Sanchez. Jonathan Tobias, number 18, Manji, uh, had an injury. He's on crutches for a while. Looks like he's back. I'm not sure if he's at full strength, but he's playing some defender. We're down to five minutes and 30 seconds to go in this match. <laughs> Ball played back. Jonathan now. And again, it looked like he is still not up to quite the speed he was, Jonathan, I'm saying. Not sure if uh, he's still feeling the effects of that injury. Jefferson winning that, that ball, playing it back to Jonathan. Jonathan will clear through. Ladondi on the right side. Can he create here? Battling, winning the ball. Frankie there. Can Frankie win this race? Nice job defensively by this young man from Madison Park. Many underclassmen out there. Offside Madison Park. Approaching the four minute mark. Madison Park will have possession. And that sun, unfortunately, is right on us in the booth right now. Don't know how Bill does it. All types of weather conditions through the years, Bill has battled. On those cold evenings or afternoons, Broadcasting a soccer match, and wind is blowing, the temperatures are quite low. Usually I'm safe in the booth, and he's battling the weather, Mr. Bill Trudell. Hall, Hall of Fame photographer for Educational Channel 15. Chris Capasso to my left, uh, working the, the score and the time. He's also the public address Announcer, soon to be. One of the greatest coaches in the city right here, Chris Capasso. Down to 2.30 to go in this match. Mr. Capasso has been coaching a number of sports throughout the years. Demands excellence from his players. A hockey coach, soccer coach, basketball coach, football coach. <laughs> 
So Tuesday again, 4 o'clock here, 4 p.m., versus Jeremiah Burke High School out of Boston, and they are usually a team to contend with. They are, again, they've had some real battles, some real wars against the Highlanders through the years. Just wondering how much time is left. It's definitely under two minutes, and the official will blow the whistle at the end of the match. Bill Tridell, great job this afternoon. And this is Frankie Leone on the breakaway, and he will shoot. And a little bit wide on the shot, but we're just wondering now how much time is left. The Highlanders in a, just a few brief moments here will be with a two win and zero loss record on the season. And that is the match, I believe. Not quite yet. That was an offside. And that is the match now. Jeremiah Burke on Tuesday. I recommend everyone turn on their air conditioners. Bill Tridell, great job. The Highlanders are improving every day. Still a lot of work to do, boys. And we will see you Tuesday.